The Pearson distribution is a family of continuous probability distributions. It was first published by Carl Pearson in 1895 and subsequently extended by him in 1901 and 1916 in a series of articles on biostatistics. History The Pearson system was originally devised in an effort to model visibly skewed observations. It was well known at the time how to adjust a theoretical model to fit the first two cumulants or moments of observed data. Any probability distribution can be extended straightforwardly to form a location scale family. Except in pathological cases, a location scale family can be made to fit the observed mean and variance arbitrarily well. However, it was not known how to construct probability distributions in which the skewness and kurtosis could be adjusted equally freely. This need became apparent when trying to fit known theoretical models to observed data that exhibited skewness. Pearson's examples include survival data, which are usually asymmetric. In his original paper, Pearson identified four types of distributions in addition to the normal distribution. The classification depended on whether the distributions were supported on a bounded interval on a half line, or on the whole real line, and whether they were potentially skewed or necessarily symmetric. A second paper fixed two emissions. It redefined the type 5 distribution and introduced the type 6 distribution. Together the first two papers cover the five main types of the Pearson system. In a third paper, Pearson introduced further special cases and subtypes. Rind devised a simple way of visualizing the parameter space of the Pearson system, which was subsequently adopted by Pearson. The Pearson types are characterized by two quantities, commonly referred to as beta 1 and beta 2. The first is the square of the skewness, where gamma 1 is the skewness, or third standardized moment. The second is the traditional kurtosis, or fourth standardized moment. Beta 2 equals gamma 2 plus 3. The diagram on the right shows which Pearson type a given concrete distribution belongs to. Many of the skewed or non mesocortic distributions familiar to us today were still unknown in the early 1890s. What is now known as the beta distribution had been used by Thomas Bayes as a posterior distribution of the parameter of a Bernoulli distribution in his 1763 work on inverse probability. The beta distribution gained prominence due to its membership in Pearson's system and was known until the 1940s as the Pearson type 1 distribution. The gamma distribution originated from Pearson's work and was known as the Pearson type 3 distribution, before acquiring its modern name in the 1930s and 1940s. Pearson's 1895 paper introduced the type 4 distribution, which contains students' T distribution as a special case, predating William C. Lee Gossett's subsequent use by several years. His 1901 paper introduced the inverse gamma distribution and the beta prime distribution. Definition A Pearson density P is defined to be any valid solution to the differential equation with, according to Ord, Pearson devised the underlying form of equation on the basis of, firstly, the formula for the derivative of the logarithm of the density function of the normal distribution and, secondly, from a recurrence relation for values in the probability mass function of the hypergeometric distribution. In equation, the parameter R determines a stationary point, and hence under some conditions a mode of the distribution, since follows directly from the differential equation. Since we are confronted with a first-order linear differential equation with variable coefficients, its solution is straightforward. The integral in this solution simplifies considerably when certain special cases of the integrand are considered. Pearson distinguished two main cases, determined by the sign of the discriminant of the quadratic function particular types of distribution. Case 1, negative discriminant. The Pearson type 4 distribution if the discriminant of the quadratic function is negative is transformed into the absence of real roots is obvious. From this formulation, 
Because alpha 2 is necessarily positive, we now express the solution to the differential equation as a function of y. Pearson called this the trigonometrical case, because the integral involves the inverse trigonometric arc tam function. Then finally, let and applying these substitutions, we obtain the parametric function. This unnormalized density has support on the entire real line. It depends on a scale parameter alpha greater than zero and shape parameters m greater than one half and nu. One parameter was lost when we chose to find the solution to the differential equation as a function of y rather than x. We therefore reintroduce a fourth parameter, namely the location parameter lambda. We have thus derived the density of the Pearson type 4 distribution. The normalizing constant involves the complex gamma function and the beta function. The Pearson type 7 distribution the shape parameter nu of the Pearson type 4 distribution controls its skewness. If we fix its value at zero, we obtain a symmetric three-parameter family. This special case is known as the Pearson type 7 distribution. Its density is where b is the beta function. An alternative parameterization of the type 7 distribution is obtained by letting which requires m greater than 3 halves. This entails a minor loss of generality but ensures that the variance of the distribution exists and is equal to sigma 2. Now the parameter m only controls the kurtosis of the distribution. If m approaches infinity as lambda and sigma are held constant, the normal distribution arises as a special case. This is the density of a normal distribution with mean lambda and standard deviation sigma. It is convenient to require that m greater than 5 halves and to less. This is another specialization, and it guarantees that the first four moments of the distribution exist. More specifically, the Pearson type 7 distribution parameterized in terms of has a mean of lambda, standard deviation of sigma, skewness of zero, and excess kurtosis of gamma 2. Students T distribution The Pearson type 7 distribution is equivalent to the non-standardized students T distribution with parameters nu greater than 0, nu, sigma 2 by applying the following substitutions to its original parameterization, and observe that the constraint m greater than 1 half is satisfied. The resulting density is which is easily recognized as the density of a student's t-distribution. Note also that this implies that the Pearson type 7 distribution subsumes the standard student's t-distribution and also the standard Cauchy distribution. In particular, the standard student's t-distribution arises as a subcase when mu equals 0 and sigma 2 equals 1, equivalent to the following substitution items. And the density of this restricted one parameter family is a standard student's t. Case 2, non-negative discriminant if the quadratic function has a non-negative discriminant. In the presence of real roots the quadratic function can be written as and the solution to the differential equation is therefore Pearson called. This the logarithmic case because the integral involves only the logarithm function and not the arctan function as in the previous case. Using the substitution we obtain the following solution to the differential equation. Since this density is only known up to a hidden constant of proportionality, that constant can be changed and the density written as follows. The Pearson type 1 distribution The Pearson type 1 distribution arises when the roots of the quadratic equation are of opposite sign, that is, then the solution P is supported on the interval. Apply the substitution which yields a solution in terms of Y that is supported on the interval. One may define regrouping constants and parameters. This simplifies to thus follows or with it turns out that M1, M2 greater than minus 1 is necessary and sufficient for P to be a proper probability density function. The Pearson type 2 distribution The Pearson type 2 distribution is a special case of the Pearson type 1 family restricted to symmetric distributions. 
for the Pearson type 2 curve, where the ordinate y is the frequency of the Pearson type 2 curve is used in computing the table of significant correlation coefficients for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient when the number of items in a series is less than 100. After that, the distribution mimics a standard student's t-distribution. For the table of values, certain values are used as the constants in the previous equation. The Pearson type 5 distribution defining new parameters follows in the Pearson type 5 distribution as an inverse gamma distribution. The Pearson type 6 distribution follows a the Pearson type 6 distribution is a beta prime distribution or F distribution. Relation to other distributions. The Pearson family subsumes the following distributions, among others, beta distribution, beta prime distribution, Cauchy distribution, chi-square distribution, continuous uniform distribution, exponential distribution, gamma distribution, F distribution, inverse chi-square distribution, inverse gamma distribution, normal distribution, students' T distribution, applications. These models are used in financial markets, given their ability to be parametrized in a way that has intuitive meaning for market traders. A number of models are in current use that capture the stochastic nature of the volatility of rates, stocks etc., and this family of distributions may prove to be one of the more important. In the United States, the log Pearson 3 is the default distribution for flood frequency analysis.